To the oldies, how about lifting with the Lakers or getting buff with the Bulls? Uh, Pro okay. Sports CDs are the focus of tonight's Fox Business Report. There's nothing quite like being right there at the ballpark. The hot dogs, the peanuts, the beer, the CDs. The CDs? Beer here, CDs here. Kenny Dichter owns a company called Alphabet City Sports Records. Maybe they could do a value meal. Yeah. CD, hot dog, and peanuts for, uh, for $19.99. Here's what Alphabet City does. They take the music that you would hear at the ball field or the arena. We are the New York Knicks. We are the New York Knicks. And they put it on a CD, complete with the calls by the announcer. We felt there were a lot of fans out in the streets, a lot of kids that aren't able to go to the garden. Basically, they're co-branding the sports teams, like the Yankees, with the music and the feel of the venue. The Yankees are champions of baseball! What we wanted to do was create game experience, uh, the music they're playing in the arena, some great live calls, uh, Jordan at the buzzer, good! Uh, that kind of stuff on the CD. But what type of market is there for this stuff? It's almost impossible to reach the consumer in a highly cluttered environment without some special way of, of reaching out and grabbing them. And we we asked marketing expert them, Seth Siegel from, from the Beanstalk Group. Just simply putting out a good toy or a good CD without some other co-branding on it is frequently a road to the remainder rack. Adults are using the CDs for their workouts, trying to get a hard body like the hardball players. And the neighborhood kids are also cranking the tunes as they shoot the hoops. <laughs> The profits on the CDs are split with the sports leagues, who then pass it on to the individual teams. The sports CDs are on sale at stadiums and stores, and that's tonight's Fox Business Report.